Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate how to fit multiple transitions in a Nano DSC thermogram. At this point, Nano Analyze has been opened and the data and background files have been loaded. The first step in the analysis is to subtract the background or buffer file. This is done by dragging and dropping the file into the scan blank box. Next, the data can be normalized into molar heat capacity units or by mass via the drop-down menu. Any changes that are made to the concentration or molecular weight can also be done at this time. You'll notice that when it's converted and update is pressed, the y-axis has changed to the appropriate unit. On this tab, you can also select the unit you wish to use, either microjoules per second or microcal per second, in which direction the thermogram will be oriented. The defaults are microjoules per second and exothermic down, which we will leave. From here, the temperature range for the analysis is selected. This is done by dragging the mouse cursor over the temperature range that you'd like to analyze. Now that the data conversion tab selections have been completed, the next step involves proceeding to the baseline tab. In the baseline tab, click the add baseline icon and then select polynomial. Next, drag the mouse cursor to create a polynomial baseline region. The default will be to add a fourth order polynomial. To best draw the baseline, it is recommended to use the Add Region to Include in the Polynomial Fit icon. Once selected, click and drag a section of the pre-transition baseline and then the post-transition baseline. If the baseline returns to zero between transitions, this region can also be added, as in this example here. If needed, the baseline can be manually adjusted by moving the nodes. The order of the polynomial can also be changed via the drop-down menu in order to best fit the data set. Once the correct baseline has been applied, the delta H calorimetric, delta S, and T max can be used as reported. To deconvolute and model the individual transitions, one will want to proceed to the modeling tab. In the modeling tab, double click in the models table and a pop-up will appear with the different models programmed in NanoAnalyze. For a multi-transition thermogram, it is recommended to use either the Gaussian or Voigt model. First select the model you want to use, and then indicate the number of models needed based on the number of transitions present and click OK. From here, we can press the play button or to help speed up the fitting process, click the TM region for each transition. Once the TM regions have been added, click the play button to allow the software to fit the data. Now that the data has been fitted, it can be exported and shared. In this tech tip, we learned how to fit multiple transitions in a Nano DSC thermogram. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.